Hey guys, Guy T600 here, and welcome to another review. And today we're doing something, um, a license I haven't actually done on the channel. It's Minecraft. Yeah, I know everybody's basically done all the Minecraft stuff. But today we're doing a Minecraft product I haven't actually seen online reviewed. Today we're doing the Minecraft Minifigure Blind Boxes Series 1. It's actually technically called the Grass series, series one, and you have a list of all the characters. The characters are kind of a, uh, kind of weird. Um, you would expect more generic type of characters, but I like the fact that it's more weirder than we'd usually expect. I'll show you what I mean in a second. But uh, right here uh, we have the. Little buying boxes that I haven't seen any of a reviewer do at the moment. That's why they caught my eye in the shop. The little barcode there. But that's why they caught, caught my eye in the shop. You need to be 6 plus to own these. I don't know why. Maybe some small parts and all that. There's terms and conditions on this side. And yes, uh, these are made by Mattel. The day figures. Uh, people do day figures, which we will be doing more on the channel. Contains one minifigure. Uh, the game's made by Mojang. Yeah, I've never done a Minecraft product on the channel before. Reason for it is I'm not a huge fan of playing Minecraft when I actually play it, but I like watching YouTubers play it. I used to be a huge fan of Skydance Minecraft. Kind of gone off him now. Uh, Best in Slots doing a dinosaur series, that, which I love at the, this moment of time. But I like the type of mobs and characters that are in Minecraft, you know, like Steve, I like the look of him, I like the mobs, I, I don't know why I like the creeper, I know a lot of people hate the creeper, I just like the look of the creeper, I like Enderman, I, I like most of the annoying mobs, but you know, I like uh, golems, iron golems, I think uh, pigs and cows look adorable, and all stuff like that, but anyways, we'll get into that when we start reviewing this, sorry about the background, but it's the way, uh, we have a joke here, say, it says digging, Get it? Dig in. No? Okay. Uh, we have all... This is the grass series. Be intrigued to see if it's series 2. Loads of terms and conditions on the side. And here's the list of characters. Now, I'll see. tell you how they look weird in a second. Uh, we got Steve, which we'd expect from this type of line. We have Steve. Uh, we have the Creeper, which we expect. Enderman, which we could kind of expect. Uh, Skeleton, which we could kind of expect. Iron Golem. No one I would expect for his first series, but you know. And then we have Golden Steve in golden armor. I like how they, on Steve, by the way, they have question mark. Steve question mark. Uh, discover the world, by the way, at the top. And on the other... Uh, create your... Collect, craft your con collection on the other side. Cool little taglines. Discover your world. But anyways... Discover the world, I mean. Sorry. <clears throat> but anyways... Like, I, you would expect Steve to be in his diamond armor, which is more popular, I think, with other people. Uh, no, he's actually in uh, his um, golden armor, which we all know if you've played Minecraft, which I have. I'm not a huge fan playing it myself, but even if you watch YouTubers play it, you would know golden armor is uh, a complete waste of your time. It is terrible. And golden anything, golden anything, apart from golden blocks, they look cool. But, you know... On the other side, we have Snow Golem, which if you have an Iron Golem, I kind of expect a Snow Golem. We have a... Sh a... Dyed. Dyed sheep, sorry. Yeah, like, you wouldn't expect a dyed sheep. You would expect a white sheep for Series 1, or maybe Series 2 you would have a dyed sheep. Now, in this case, Horse, which is recently been added on the PC version of the game. Uh, I wouldn't expect that in a Series 1 either, but we do, which is cool. Got a cow... Cat and Zombie Villager. Now, a Zombie Villager wouldn't be one I expect. I'd expect a generic zombie, but we got a Zombie Villager instead. But enough talking, which ones would I want? I would like an, I would, wouldn't mind any on this uh, front, apart from the Golden Armor. I mean, the Golden Armor would be alright, but, you know, uh, any on this front would be kind of cool. Uh, if I had to narrow it down to one, I'd kind of either want... i kind of want the Creeper. And then on this side, I'd kind of want the horse. I just think the horse looks kind of cool. Or the cow, because I think the cows look adorable. But anyways, I'm not going to use any camera cuts. We're both going to find out which one I got together. Always in a little black bag. Nothing else is in here. So even more support. How tiny is this thing? I may ask. This thing is tiny. It does not feel like a... Like a animal. 
Let's hope it's just at least like well painted and detailed anyways. Is this going to be a pain for me now or something? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, and we caught one that we were just on. No, we got Steve. We got Steve. At least we got Steve. Let me bring in the camera for you guys to see it. I mean, he looks pretty cool. I mean, if you're going to make like a small little diorama for Minecraft, I think these guys will be uh, pretty good. Just put the box there for a second. I made a complete mess of that box, but anyways. Um, I think that Steve looks really cool. I gotta be honest with you guys, this Steve looks awesome. I might pick up more of these guys because, you know, I was going to pick up two initially, but then I put one back down because I didn't know what to really expect from these guys. But they're all like raised pieces and all like, they're not hard plastic either, so you don't have to worry about anything breaking off them. They are kind of rubbery. But then you have like raised pieces on his t-shirt and all, you, you, you can't really see it, but... And look how well, he, well painted these guys are. Really well painted, and he look. I think his one eye could be a little bit more open than the other. Uh, one eye shouldn't be one more open than the other, like like it is on here, like I was about to say. But it's the only gripe I could make about this. Really cool. We got ourselves Steve, guys. We got ourselves Steve, and that looks really cool. I might pick up more of these guys. So this might be seeing a part two for Minecraft minifigures grass series one. Um. So yeah, definitely dig into these guys. Huh, so I did the pun. Definitely dig in these to these guys if you could find them and try and uh, get these guys. Because if you ever see these guys, I haven't seen these guys before, and I just about caught my eye of a stack full of them. And it looks like a lot of people have picked these guys up. So these might be a very popular thing to get. And I hope they might be a series too, because these guys are awesome and they're definitely going up on my collector's shelf. Very pleased I picked this guy up now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I say, if you have a chance, pick these guys up. Really nice paint and uh, raised pieces. And his pick ass, pick axe. I just said pick ass. I meant pick axe, sorry. Uh, looks to be a iron pick ass. Pick axe. Pick axe. Axe. There we go. Pick axe. So, if you're wondering, iron is uh, just underneath. Is better than gold, so at least this Steve got it right, unlike that Steve on the other side. But thank you guys for watching. Um, this has been a neat little review on this little guy. Definitely going to pick more up if I can find some, and I'll see you guys next time. Also, later on tonight, I might be doing another review on a horror film. If it that does happen, and I did get into it, by the way, um, it's Annabelle, if you guys are wondering. But just look out for that if it does come. If it doesn't, I'm sorry, because I couldn't get in. Uh, but, uh, yeah, don't tell anybody from City World. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.